in this tutorial we will learn remaining draw commands click on create sketch select the plane and pan the screen click on sketch we have already seen line command next is rectangle click on two point rectangle give the first point take your cursor away give the width then press tab button and give the length and press enter then next is three point rectangle give the first point then give the length then click second corner and give the length press enter and press enter then next is center rectangle rectangle is created with respect to center point give the center point take your cursor away give the length tab give the width enter and next is circle we have seen center diameter circle next is two point circle circle passing through two points click on it then give the first point i want to pass it through midpoint of this line and give the second point it will create circle passing through two points then circle passing through three points for that give the first point give the second point and give the third point it will create the circle passing through three points then two tangent circle circle tangent to two lines select first line select second line then give the radius enter and enter it will create circle tangent to two lines then tangent to three lines give the first line second line and third line it will create circle tangent to three lines then arc three point arc arc passing through three points give the start point give the end point and give the radius point and it is creating tangent arc automatically once tangent symbol is shown click there it will create the tangent arc when arc with center point give the center point give the start point of the arc and give the end point of the arc then tangent arc select the first end point and select the second end point it will create arc tangent to both the lines then next is polygon first is circumscribe polygon it creates a polygon using center point and the midpoint of one edge click on it give the center point then give the radius of the internal circle then tab and give the number of edges how much you want and press enter it will take the polygon distance from center to the mid of the edge that means this will be the radius of internal circle polygon next is inscribe polygon it creates a polygon using the center point and the vertex of the edge click on it give the center point then give the radius tab give the number of edges this radius will be the radius of the external circle then click there the next is edge polygon specify the first end point of the edge give the second end point of the edge then give the side on which side you want the polygon whether above or below and give the number of edges and click there then we have already seen ellipse then next is slot first slot is center to center slot give the first point then give the length of the slot then press tab to give the angle for the slot i want it in 45 degree then click there and take your cursor away and give the diameter for the slot and press enter and enter then overall slot give the first point give the second point or length take your cursor away and give the diameter point 
so it will take that length from this point to this point and diameter to create this slot then center point slot it will create slot around center point give the center point then give the half length of the slot then give the diameter and click there the next is three point arc slot give the start point of the arc give the end point of the arc give the radius point and take your cursor away and give the diameter of the slot next is center two point arc give the center point of the arc give the start point of the arc give the end point of the arc we can also give the angle take your cursor away and give the diameter of the slot then spline give the first point second point keep on clicking the points once done press on this right symbol it will create the spline press escape then using this green point you can control the tangent of the spline point and by dragging this point we can control the shape of the polyline how you want it press escape then conic curve give the start point give the end point then give the vertex point and give the row value press enter it will create the conic curve then point this can be used as a reference point click there it will create point at that position then text give the first point then write down the text from here you can give the height then from here you can give the angle you can make it bold italic underline from here you can choose the font and from here you can flip it horizontally or flip it vertically and click on ok that's all we have covered all the draw commands thanks for watching we will stop here